हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एनवेलप डिटेक्टर एनवेलप डिटेक्टर इज द सर्क्यूट दैट इज यूज्ड फॉर डीमॉड्यूलेशन ऑफ एएम सिग्नल डीमॉड्यूलेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ रिकवरिंग द ओरिजिनल मैसेज सिग्नल फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूलेटेड वेव एट रिसीवर एंड so it is a process of recovering the original message signal from the modulated wave at the receiver end this figure shows the envelope detector circuit it consists of a diode and a rc filter this circuit is also known as a diode detector so it is known as envelope detector and also known as diode detector now let us understand the operation of this circuit now this is the carrier signal that is received by the receiver and if you observe this carrier signal is having positive half of the cycle as well as negative half of the cycle now this diode will conduct or it will turn on only when the carrier signal is having positive half of the input cycle during negative half of the input cycle the diode will turn off so we can say in positive cycle of am signal the diode will become forward bias and current will flow through the load resistor that's why we will obtain the output voltage this output voltage will be similar to the positive half of the am signal during negative half of the eam wave the diode will be reverse bias hence no current will flow through the load resistor hence we will not obtain any output voltage that's why during negative half of the eam wave the diode will not conduct hence we will not obtain any output voltage that's why we can say only positive half of the eam wave appear across the rc filter so this is the waveform that appear as the input to the rc filter now across rc filter during positive half of the am wave the capacitor will charge rapidly as you can see the charging process of capacitor is shown here the capacitor will charge rapidly towards the peak value of the input and when this input falls below the peak value capacitor will start discharging slowly so the capacitor will charge to the peak value when the input reaches the peak value and when the input falls below the peak value capacitor starts discharging slowly so again the capacitor will charge when the input reaches the peak value this charging will be very fast and when the input falls below the peak value the capacitor starts discharging slowly so this continuous process of charging and discharging of the capacitor gives the envelope of am signal as shown in this figure so this envelope will be same as the message signal that's why this circuit is known as envelope detector here in this circuit we need to choose the resistor value as well as capacitor value very carefully here the value rs into c which is charging time constant must be very much less than the carrier period 1 by fc this is made to ensure that the capacitor charges rapidly the discharging time constant rl into c should be long enough to ensure that the capacitor discharges slowly through the load resistor so we will choose the value of rl into c between 1 by fc and 1 by fm to ensure that there is slow discharge of capacitor this is about envelope detector I hope you have understood the topic thank you